Non-fungible tokens, also known as NFTs, are becoming increasingly popular, but not everyone knows exactly what they are. We're here to help. Fox 13 Tech reporter Jordan Hogan has more on what they're used for and why you should be careful about investing in them. Technology is always evolving, and so are the things we invest our money in. Now people are buying things online called NFTs. Simply put, they're unique digital tokens that can be attached to any item, both digital or physical. Several websites sell these non-fungible tokens, including NBA Top Shot, Foundation, Nifty Gateway, and OpenSea. Tom Brady is also launching his own NFT platform called Autograph. You can even sell your own tweets or buy other people's on the platform valuables. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey sold his very first tweet for $2.9 million. These are the new digital baseball cards. Anthony Citrano is the founder of Aquacent, a Los Angeles-based company that is starting to specialize in NFTs. In many cases with our digital collectibles, we'll also be tying them to real world physical items that'll be delivered to the people who buy the tokens. When you buy an NFT, you are buying a digital token that has a link back to the digital or physical item you bought. Many NFTs don't come cheap either, so you need to make sure you're buying them from a reputable source. I think we need to be really careful. If you're considering this as an investment, the same way you would as a stock or something else. NFTs can be bought with dollars or cryptocurrency, most commonly Ethereum. Some of the legitimate websites sell things for as little as $20, but they can go for upwards of a million dollars. A big concern with NFTs right now is the potential for fraud, which can happen in two ways. One way is someone selling an NFT linked to something that doesn't belong to them. If you were to go on Twitter right now and look for NFT fraud even, um, I mean, you'll see that there are a lot of, of, a lot of artists that are, are pretty upset that their art is being repurposed, stolen, frankly. Another way is selling an NFT that claims to be linked to one thing when in fact it's linked to something entirely different. There's real challenges out there right now, I think, as far as authenticity. So you have to know and trust who you're dealing with. You can resell NFTs, but be warned, the value of them can go up or down based on the value attached to them, whether it's dollars or cryptocurrency. Jordan Hogan, Fox 30 News, Utah.